morning guys uh, this morning we pulled the turbo off of uh, DT 466 it's a 2006 ear making ear model it's an international bus uh, this one the BGT was didn't want to open or close basically it doesn't want to move it's seized so uh, we just went to take this one apart see if we can salvage it I'm hoping the bearings are okay the seals are okay so we're gonna try and see if we can make this one work and hopefully hold up for another maybe month maybe a couple of months before we can order a new one so uh, i'm gonna tear it apart and see if we can fix this one. Oh, let me go ahead and get started Well guys, uh, I freed most of these up just by wiggling them around. I do have to remove these three Allen welds, remove, go rinse all this off. I mean, water went into it. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's rust deposits all around it. And inside where the wings are, you got rust deposits also. Uh, I did free, uh, look, at that, look at that junk. Uh, this is what happened. Well, we lost the EGR cooler and the bus kept running for a while and yep, that is a result of it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and wash this off. We're going to reuse these. Of course, reuse the VGT bracket. We're going to re reuse the housing uh, on the actual center cartridge. Uh, this one it has uh, it has a little too much free play i know you need that they're not supposed to be tight because when oil rushes through it oil actually closes up the gap on the bearing and uh but this one's just a little too loose i'm gonna go ahead and send this one in see if we can get repaired uh we don't have the tools or the equipment here to get it done so uh, i'm gonna send it over to feed injection service and if you can see the impeller itself has a couple of chips on there so now I think it's ready for us to go ahead and retire this one send it in to get repaired or just order a center cartridge uh, I'm gonna put this one back together I'm not gonna install no seals impellers or bearings the center cartridge that I'm gonna use is already put together built and all I'm gonna do is get these little wings freed up clean all this out clean all the parts up and I'm going to go ahead and reassemble the, the turbo with a new center cartridge I guess let me go ahead and uh, get, all, get all this washed and uh, start putting it together guys problem with this one is oh, all these little pegs are stuck water went into the EGR cooler messed up water went into the turbo rusted everything up and these are all seized too well not all of them but most of them are seized we're gonna have to clean this up and see we can free up all these and hopefully we'll be able to salvage salvage this turbo well guys uh we're gonna go ahead and replace this center cartridge with this center cartridge uh, instead of buying a complete turbo that's like 1500 bucks we went ahead and bought these center cartridges i believe for a little under 500. Uh, all we do is replace the center cartridge we use the original housing the intake housing the exhaust housing and of course was vgt the variable geometric electronic box you can get these for I believe it's like 300 bucks so we spend roughly anywhere between 8 eight fifty buying these two ports and we got ourselves a rebuilt turbo 
which is the same as buying a complete Real quick, guys, uh, before I put this together, variable geometric. This little, uh, this little electronic servo. Computer tells it when to apply pressure to these to open these little fins. I don't know if you can see the little fin in the back. The, these little fins redirect the air, the exhaust pressure, onto the turbine and it'll make the turbine spool up at different speeds or different pressures. More pressure, more speed. Of course, lower pressure, lower speed. So this is what controls your turbo, your, your turbo, the way it spools up. So we went ahead and cleaned all this area out, made sure that all these little pegs were free so that when, when we put them together, DDT wants to actually apply it'll move freely and allow all these little pegs to redirect the exhaust pressure to either make that turbo cry or slow it down or I guess they put it together. This is what happens when the VGT applies, you see? All those little fins redirect the air. This ring here is what the VGT puts pressure applies to, and it'll either turn it Well guys, uh, that's basically how we put our turbos together. Uh, all I got to do now is make sure I get this inlet, air inlet aligned properly before I actually tighten this clamp down. So we either wait till we put it on the unit or we compare it to a unit that's already installed and just kind of get it into place. Uh, I guess it's going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching.